Hello everyone and welcome back to the Guild 3 full release version. Welcome back to the year 1402 in London with Val Kindalini as a grave digger. But before we begin, let me quickly introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of online classes ready for you to discover and enhance your skills. From photography to gardening, video editing to freelancing, the possibilities are endless. Start with individual learning videos or follow whole guided learning paths from scratch, exploring new ways of leveling up your skills, whether you want to learn for your personal growth or enhancing your skills for your business. So recently I've noticed I needed some additional skills in Photoshop for my thumbnails. So I looked it up on Skillshare and voya, there it is, a full class from beginners to advanced. I chose From Paper to Screen by Kat Coquillette. In several extensive videos, she showed me new ways of creating patterns and how to scan real-life artwork for my digital thumbnails. Skillshare is completely ad-free and new classes launch each week. The entire catalog is also now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. So don't wait and join the community today. The first 1000 people to use the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Um, in that case here, we already got 18 bone bracelets now available. Um, I hope that with my latest fix, we are getting a bit rid of the bone dust. But what we can do is we can actually yeah, take the bone dust with us and also sell it at the market as a surplus if we really have too much of that. My goal right now is uh, in order to continue progressing would be a second business. That can either be a grave digger crypt. We could also dabble into the other profession. So we are in the roguery profession. So for a thousand coin, I could start uh, being a minstrel and have minstrels working for us, right? Playing music and stuff like that. It gives me a nice bonus of plus 1% reputation though. So that's a nice thing. We could also become a robber. Um, in that case, we get a bit of strength bonus there, but we would rob people and that's just not very good for reputation. But becoming a minstrel is worth it. Another 300 coin there, so someone purchased the bone bracelets. Um, since there are so many purchasing the bone bracelets, I will increase the front storage there to four. Right? I want to have a bit more in store just in case uh, more people or someone wants to purchase more at once. Um, in that case, there it is and working now. Perfect. As we can see, each one of them is going through his own cycle. So one is doing the bone glue, another one is doing the bone um, gathering, another one is crafting the bone bracelet right now. So they're rather all doing their individual things. And we could also completely let it be automated. I'm not doing that though yet, as a bit of min-maxing is the better option early on to get a lot of money out of it. Right, it's almost after a late afternoon, almost evening. As we can see, yeah, it's it's good thing the bone dust is actually going down there a bit now. The same with the bone glue. Um, we have 28 bone bracelets in store right now. So let's still not hire a transporter. A, a transporter would automatically get the stuff to the market and purchase raw materials that we need for processing, right? For now, though, we are still going to do it manually. Let's get the 28 uh, bone bracelets there. And the market in Brixton, that's with us, is purchasing them for 100 right now. Um, we've seen better prices, but 100 is still fine especially when it's right around the corner and we can get our worker back to work there quickly right so Balkan is now getting um, 28 bone bracelets over to the market of Brixton for the great city of Brixton so that we can make some profit out of that and that will be enough most likely to build us a second crypt I think we might go for that let's just wait there's he's, he's arriving and uh, let's just sell these 28 and that is 2,800 coin. Ah, very nice. We even made uh, 20 coin in addition. I think thanks to the charisma bonus that we have now. Let's get Balkan back here to the grave digger. We have 4,000 coin. That's definitely possible now to build another grave digger. We could though, however, also go ahead with the minstrel trade now. And I think we're going with that. Let's uh, unlock the minstrel. Our first real profession beside the grave digger, and that unlocks us now the minstrel tent for 1,500. Um, we can build, can be built in the village. It needs to be built in the village. Showtime, it's called. And as we can see, let's find us a good location. Mm, we might actually do it this a bit more central, right? So a bit closer to the the city center of Brixton. Plenty of space available there, right? Others are of course also starting then to build um, houses. Um, so for now, though, we got good locations available there. Let's have this one, yep, right over there. Also to the center. And there, our next big building is coming up. Oh, also snow is coming up as we're coming close to the end of autumn. 
And it's getting cold out there. It's getting cold. And it doesn't take too long to have the minstrel building available. So once again, we could hire now two workers. Um, since it's evening though, I'm not doing that yet. So we are waiting until the next day. And then we'll decide if Valkin wants to stop with the bone digging and starts making play music. <laughs> no idea. We'll just see about that for now though. Another night full of bone crafting is ahead of us and in that case here that's four now it's still a bit slow of course because we need to do a lot of stuff ourselves but of course the more businesses we have the more money comes in and we can automate these buildings then right to to work in that case so we don't need to to have so much to do with daily life and focus on yeah making babies and stuff like that oh so it's a, it's a winter storm there's also some fighting somewhere i can hear that Yeah, there was a fight here. There is actually someone lying on the ground. Olaf. He's been badly hurt. And he's of... You see? Yeah, he's also one of the other dynasties. He's not dying right away, though. He cannot do anything, though, now for a full day. As, as Once he regenerates his health again completely, he can continue then again. But this poor fellow, he got a good armor there. Right? A plate mail and a bone bracelet. And still, he was not successful. I think he was robbed. Because he still has a bit of clay pot there in his inventory. I think that might have been the cause. So always be careful, especially when you go there yourself. Alright, let's just check it out there again. My workers are still working. It's still 9 o'clock now. Valken is going to work through the night. We'll basically come back here in the morning. Boy, this must really be a new low in his life. It's winter, it's freezing cold, and poor Valken has to work here, uh, digging up the bones together with his other very questionable companions. Uh, yeah, well, we are definitely at the lowest that we've ever been. However, there is some light ahead of us because we finished uh, the next building, right? So we have a second building now. That means we are really becoming a business owner there. And the minstrel or the bards that we can now finally employ. I'm not going to play music myself. However, we can do, let others do the job for that. So I'm going to hire two workers there now. There you go, 400, that's 800 coin again that we need to uh, invest, so we are pretty much down there now on the balance. Um, and those two are waiting now for work, right? So they're looking also a bit better than my <laughs> Gravedigger companions. Uh, yeah, quite fancy there, and we also get another Daniel. He's also ready to work. They got lots of charisma there already starting out. We got two actions for now. Um, present at concert. Oh, present a concert, right? And also play music, just like that. Um, I'm going to have one of them working with the music stuff. Um, and we would have to decide a location for that, right? Where he plays. Of course, mostly where there is a lot of action, like the market, for example, on its way. And the other one is doing a concert, right? Present a concert. And I think the concert is here. Yep. <laughs> Poor fellow, it's freezing cold and he has to work out there. He's also not looking very motivated and a bit frozen, perhaps. But he's doing that now. So, anyone that uh, passes by, so that's why it's so important to have this minstrel tent there at a, a main road. Anyone who passes by might enjoy the music, stop and actually pay him some money there as well. Throw him some coins. Right? The other one is now over here playing music. I don't know what kind of music she's playing. But I guess with these temperatures, you can't really go into two precise instruments there. Since your fingers are frozen. Uh, in that case, uh, we, we're just going to wait now. It's going to take a while before this one rolls in. And of course, we should then check um, how much money it makes. The Grave Digger as well, uh, our first business, as we can see, is making good revenue there. 7,788. Of course, minus the expenses leads to a total profit of 2,400 for this one. Bear in mind, in the span of three years, we could put this one down to two years so we can see what it did in the last day. That was a bummer, right? Uh, not a bummer. That was a huge boost. There, 3,400 total revenue um, thanks to selling all these bone bracelets. So the Grave Digger is doing a good job, right? The Minstrel at zero at the moment, but of course, that might change pretty soon. <laughs> Faster? Yes, I totally understand that. Not looking like he's really playing. A good melody there but at least we got a visitor at our minstrel's tent i just hope that this one is paying off
Ah, uh, yep, and 53 coin GPs. That's at least something, right? He continues now with the bagpipe. And that's a bit of money there, at least, from the concert. The other one playing the music. She is, of course, repeating that, right? And she's got a few visitors there. Someone who is eating something right now. That the market, of course, is a good location to make a bit of money there beside that. Oh, and someone actually interrupts and talks with us. My worker. Everywhere filth, sin and foolishness, I will bring order and wisdom to this fiefdom. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Yes, of course, but let me play my music. She's idle. Right, she's interrupted. Is that on purpose? No, she's still doing it. Waiting for work. Um, go for the order. Loop production, right? So we can say, go with that. And she's doing that. Play music. And the other one is still continuing with the concert. We'll just see. Perhaps it was a bad idea. The whole minst minstrel stuff. In the Gravedigger Crypt, we got 30 now. What for? is buying for 100. Uh, that would be something, I guess. Um, also, our ratio here is looking good, right? So nothing is too much. The bone dust also went down a bit. But I'm happy with how things go now here at the Gravedigger. Okay, it's really piling up here now. The bone uh, bracelet. So we got 40. Let's have Valkin there. Or should we get a transporter? It's risky. Let's get Valkin there with the 40. And let's send him to, I think, Watford it was. Yep. So, Valkin, you are going for Watford now. We just need to find that. So, I know where Brixton is. I know where Central Market is. Watford, though, I haven't seen yet. Maidstone. It's London South District we have. Oh, it's on the other side, right? Yep, it's over here. It's pretty far away. Go there. Nah, let's go to Brixton and just see how the prices are for the bone bracelet. That's just closer. I mean, Valken would be on his way for the whole day, I think, getting over to Watford. And we don't have a horse card yet, so it would just take too long. The occasional fighting. <laughs> There's, oh, it's getting a bit rough out there, I think. Those people don't like them, so, uh, like them each other so much. We have arrived, I hope. Let's just see. Oh, that's quite the difference though, right? That's 800 coin difference. The prices are uh, really low there right now. Yeah. 800 coin. Let's go to Watford. I mean, London is on its way, right? So let's stop at London Harbor and just see. And then we continue onwards to Watford. Now is it looking there? He's playing all by himself. At the market, we got a few visitors. That's good. Mm, and let's just see how much money we made uh, up to this point here. 300 in the morning, right? So it probably isn't that bad. Employees will cost me quite a bit, though. But we'll just see. Perhaps it's profitable after all. I'm a bit worried there, though. And what a dark and dreary day it is. It is winter indeed, but still beautiful, so. Unfortunately, we don't have really the right clothes for this weather, but I think we ha will have to pull through. We, by the way, also have a house here, a cottage. That belongs to us. Yeah, that's right. You can have a home. Right, it's a very basic home here. We can have really manners later on. Um, for now, though, we could do something here. We could hire a worker in our home, um, and they would then do something like, for example, gathering, you know, flowers and stuff like that. Um, children could go out and play and hunt rats. We could be generous then with this. This is an act of a children, though. So my children at some point could hunt rats if they want to. We've arrived at the harbor market. So let's just check it if we have a good price here. Yeah, it's a bit better. It's it's by 100 better, right? So 3,400. I'll take that before we move on to Watford. I think that's a, the safer bet. And let's get back to the crypt. So he can start his work there again, right? There you go. There's already seven more bra uh, bone bracelets again available. And since the front storage is not really being used that much, we could increase the customer satisfaction now. That cost me 600, but it's worth it, I think. So let's increase customer satisfaction. And we could also increase the productivity of the overall building by 5% for 600 coin. I think another building entirely would be better than increasing that uh, with su such a small a number there, right? So another Gravedigger Crypt. Would be up my alley. Unfortunately, we do need to claim a new title for that. The Yo Man. We could afford that. We have 3,200 coin. And getting the Yo Man title promotes my business. 
and that's a new action that we have and also we get another business limit let's purchase this yeah new title your tireless efforts have earned you the new title of yeoman and in that case here we get a few actions that are coming in very handy as we can see the prices are going up really steeply now and if i want to get a new a new craft we do need to pay influence right in order to unlock a new craft um, an influence, how do we get that? In the beginning, only by donating, I think, donating, oops, to the church. Yes, for 870 coin, we could church, uh, make a church donation, and this would give me um, 38 influence. So, holy cow, we would need to invest quite a lot into that before we can um, really go for a second um, business branch, right? Not worth it at the moment, I think. Um, for now, I'm going to leave this. Uh, we have some other new actions like praise someone in public that actually costs me something though. Um, and then I would like to drive my workers once more. Certainly. That's something. That's at least a bit of experience points that we get out of that. And with the 1800, yeah, another Gravedigger Crypt might be possible now. I think we're going with that. I would like to wait for this day though um, to see how profitable the Bard's Tent really is. Because it is making some money, right? We have 500 coin there now. Income from this one. Just for this day, right? And the, the Grave Digger, of course, is doing way more. The Crypt. Yeah, I think we're going with the Crypt. There's quite a few money, uh, quite a few coins now coming in, just like that. So another 400 coin, I think, uh, leading to 1,900. Um, they are making a good... A good amount here right now in the evening i think it's a bit more profitable with 600 now so i would like to use this to yeah increase the i can can we do this the worker the amount of workers that we have there you go by one so now i can add a third worker to this one and this one is also playing music uh, is it choosing the location automatically or is it going to the same spot yeah it's choosing it automatically somewhere else right so there, he is playing now here and she's playing here and already make some more money there again. I like this. So um, it's not that much, but it's tickling in passively over time, right? That makes it worth it, I think. There, we got another worker now for this too. Perfect. Nothing else that we would need to do at the Minstrel Tent though for now. Uh, bone bracelets, any change in value? What for is still paying the most? And the Skull Lamp, which would be the next upgrade which is twice as much as the bone bracelet. We can only craft that at the Grave Digger 2. So we do need to level up our own profession. There it is, Grave Digger 2, right? Gives me the Skull Lamb and also the Plunder Graves. Um, cost me 750 coin. It's possible. I think we're going with that before we go with anything else. All right, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Uh, that means production is has stopped now. Uh, with Valken, I'm going to get to the market and sell the remaining or sell all the, the bone bracelets that we have. And let's go to the central market of London there, or the Southern District, right? Um, just over there. That should uh, yield us a nice profit then in total. Um, also, the minstrels have stopped working. I don't know, they could also just work through the night if it if it's up to me. And let's just check it, the total profit of today was dubious, uh, was a 1000 coin almost, right? So it seems fine. Of course, we had a lot of expenses there because we built the house, the building itself, we upgraded, that all comes into that, right? So into the expenses. Um, employees are quite expensive as we can see. So we do need to make a profit in order to afford all of that. But we are doing fine at the moment. Valken has arrived at the market. And that's 2,300. That's fine. That's like only 200 less than at Woodford. We can sell that and have 4,000 coin now sitting on that comfortable. Let's get back to the Grave Digger. Crypt. Oh, and it's spring. 1404. A new day is dawning 4 o'clock in the morning of spring. So finally it's getting a bit warmer again. And Valken is continuing tirelessly to build a better future for himself as a master grave digger um let's with the money let's invest into our own profession there so we're upgrading the grave digger now to grave digger 2 the 750 coin we can easily afford at this point and with that we unlock the skull lamp now the skull lamp is a bit more tricky now because it is requiring fish oil that we need to have two of that as well 
right? And it would sell though at 230, so 130 coin more than the bone bracelet. And we do need though two fish oil. Let's just check it out how much fish oil would be. Because I have a feeling, yeah, fish oil is at 70 coin for each, right? The market harbor, uh, the harbor is selling it for 66 coin. So that's 130 coin that we pay here. So look at that. Um, there's actually no profit here, right? Because the skull lamp would be then the exact amount of value than the bone bracelet. The 130 coin difference here. Yep, it's the 130 coin we need to invest into fish oil. So that upgrade was pretty bad for the skull lamp. I'm not build. I'm not crafting that. It's just not worth it. But at least we got the the plunder graves option now, and we also could go down then into the shadow arts with that. So the shadow arts eliminate someone that comes in very handily later on. But so far, yeah, it's not the best upgrade here that we've just made. Um, the Minstrel 2 would give me the place a Serenade. That gives me plus 2 Entertainment. Um, I think we, we can also go with that. Let's upgrade the Minstrel to 2. And that gives me now a new option. And the... This character is now playing a Serenade. So that should bring in a bit more money, hopefully. With a Flute, as we can see. So she's a bit more powerful now. Not the drums anymore. We'll just see if that really pays off. Yeah, there's a bit of coin here. 31 coin. I think it was 26 before that. The occasional fighting at the market. Is this a robber? This is a robbery happening right now. Alright, for the for this grave digger crypt, we cannot do anything else. So I would like to build another one. We have the cemetery close by, so of course we can continue plundering bones of, out of it. The grave fiends, a second building. Let's just have this one right beside my first one, because ultimately it doesn't matter, right? We can we cannot place it there anyway, um, and let's just place it beside our other crypt. So it's kind of like it, they look, uh, they belong together. 1,200 coin. There's going to be quite the heavy investment here because there's no workers there yet, of course. Um, and this basically starts from scratch then. Whereas this one is already pretty well working. We could add some upgrades then as well, but let's not do this for now. Uh, what we do though is I'm going to Im sell right away some bone bracelets. A new building has been finished. Oh, are we full? Oh no, we are actually at the, at the graveyard, right? So William is doing that, the selling. We can, of course, choose one of our own workers there as well if we want to. And William is going to the market at the Southern District. Off he goes with the bone bracelets. That's a bit of coin coming in. Now, the second crypt has been finished, so we can uh, afford two workers there right away. Let's do this. And they're basically, let's try the automated production now, right? So, it's completely automated. There is a skull lamp that is being... Let's not use this one. I don't want to buy fish oil. And they're basically now automatically doing the, I think, bone bracelets ultimately, right? We'll just see about that. And I'm I'm eager to, to find out what is more profitable, right? Probably the automated one. William, where are you? He should be here now. He's not. Where's my William? Did you run off with it? Now there he is. All right, he's just entering London. Going to the market now. And beautiful buildings there. Alright, there's William. Let's sell the stuff. For 180. That's not good. It's not a good price. Still selling it, but I think the southern market is not going to be one that I care about for uh, that much longer. And you have to continue now. So we got 1819. One uh, that makes it possible for me to get another worker in. That is the goal here. I a third worker. That can also now work on that. And yeah, we got three businesses now. Isn't that nice? Two of them working here together right away. And the other one here. We could, by the way, also do something very interesting. We could let this one here only produce the raw materials, have a transporter automatically tra automatically transport it to the other crypt, and they only produce the bracelets. But I, I don't think ultimately that it matters that much. Um, when it only the raw materials, right? I don't think so. There are some options where it's, uh, it, it will make more sense, like the farmers. So if you are a farmer, for the food preparation, right? You can have a farm and a fishery, and then you have an inn. 
where uh, you can produce beer out of the wheat, for example, that you make on the farms. So that makes a bit more sense then. Another level up for Valken. Let's just go into that. And yeah, we got strength, de dexterity, intelligence, perception, and charisma. It's a bit tricky where we should uh, invest next. But since I'm also without wife and charisma helps in that and charisma also helps for, um, you know, facial expressions and gestures. So people would like me more. Let's invest into charisma. Let's become a charismatic person. I think that's the best option that we have right now. I'm not going into fighting with my Valken. Only for self-defense. And then we still need some items for that. All right. How's it looking there with the automatic production? Getting the skulls. Making bone dust, bone glue. No bracelets yet. We'll just see. And that poor cemetery is getting robbed completely. <laughs> Quite a busy area. So far so good. Another day is over. And we continue onwards here then with our three businesses that we have now. Trying to optimize them. Making lots of money hopefully. Stay tuned. <laughs>